Good morning, everybody. It's a honor to start this set of presentation. So I'm going to talk to you about Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is the second most frequent neurodegenerative disorder. Nobody knows the causes, but it can affect anybody. So we are talking about big numbers in here. There are five millions worldwide, and that's a conservative estimate. This number is bound to double by 2040, and it has substantial costs for the health providers. We are talking about 14 billions just in Europe. And no cure exists. Now, uh, neurologists just try to cure the symptoms. We are all aware of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. You know, we are with, with tremors, but then eventually we'll end up in dementia. And something that people are maybe not aware about is that the clinical diagnosis happened just in here. The disease on onset is at this time, at time zero. So there are from five to 15 years where the disease develops, but nothing is done. So we want to tackle this problem. We want to, to uh, find these people in here because we know that if we find, we have evidences that we can stop the disease. These evidence come from animal studies. So with subtle motor impairments, the question is, how do we find it? How do we identify it? And more importantly, how do we test the general population? Because you cannot, there is nothing, there is no primary sign at the beginning for that. We think that the answer is in here, in our hands, at our finger. We have all the neurological information in here, and we collect it all the time. Look at it. We, here we have a keyboard. We see it, we interact it every day with mobile phones, with, uh, with computers, with tablets, and we type. You know? And this is a very complex task. And uh, we have run a pilot study when we, where we were able to detect a signal, a change of signal between a control and a person with subtle motor impairment. And we saw that by just typing a free text, whatever that might be, we, uh, we are managing to identify this thing. This has enormous repercussion, we think. We call it the system neuroqwerty. We have started an, a clinical study for Parkinson's disease, and we have fi filed a provisional patent on it. Why do you think this is really important? Because it can be deployed massively. We don't have to add a new, a new tool, a new gadget, a new app, or anything like that. We are uh, just exploit, or a new pieces of hardware, we should say. Uh, we can just exploit how people interact on every day, and we can do it worldwide now. And we, we are part of an amazing team. We have collaboration with the Dossier October, with Clinical, with MGH, with MIT. And uh, we think that we can have you know, a great impact when we are really excited about it, especially for what you say, the, the deployment that can be done in a moment. Essentially, we want to get something that can be used and it does not look or anything like that. <laughs> Thank you.